Welcome back, class. In this video, I'd like to take you on a tour of Lab Mentors and their web based lab program. So let's open up Internet Explorer. And we'll go ahead and type in course.labmentors.com. And we're going to go ahead and log in. You'll log in with your access code and password after you've registered it. Alright, and here is the main Lab Mentors page. You can see your options over here. You've got your home page, which is where we're at now. Your labs, your profile, your lab results, live support, help desk. You can check the compatibility of your web browser, or you can log out. The first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to download the Lab Mentors client. And go ahead and run that. If you're having any troubles running it, go ahead and save it, and then open up the executable file. And you should get this wizard that will help you install the eLab e client. All right, once that's been properly installed, we can go ahead and look at our labs. For this demonstration, we'll choose Chapter 1 Labs, and we'll just go with the first one. And you just click on it, and you have the option to launch it now, schedule lab, or a step-by-step -step help guide. We're going to go ahead and just launch it now. Go ahead and click open. Oh, Windows Firewall wants to make sure that we know we're opening a, a program. We'll go ahead and allow that access. Let it know that we're familiar with it. Over here on the right side, you've got your lab instructions. This lab seems pretty simple, pretty short. Alright, and that's what your lab screen should look like. Now here's where you would follow the instructions on the right hand side in order to complete this lab. You have your countdown timer at the top saying your time remaining. Here you've got different buttons. This is for control alt delete if that were necessary. This is to refresh the lab. That's to take a snapshot. The green check is to check your progress. You also have the same buttons up here. Let's see, at lab progress, that's the same as the green check button. It lets you know how much time you spent so far, and the result right now is incomplete. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and do the lab so I can show you what it's like when it's finished. Alright, I've completed the last step in the lab. Click my check mark there. I see that the result is complete. So I can close that progress bar. And I can go ahead and close out the lab knowing that it's completed. I'm going to click that red box with the white circle in it. It's going to close it out and it's going to give me my results. That lab took 4 minutes and 10 seconds. Uh, you can print these results if you'd like and keep them for your own records. However, you don't necessarily have to do that. Your instructor will be able to pull your scores and your results directly from the website. So you should not have to submit anything. 